Welcome to the Library Love Fest podcast. I'm Virginia Stanley. I'm Lainey Mays. And I'm Grace Catanolo. We are the library marketing team at HarperCollins Publishers. We bring librarians and great books together. Welcome and enjoy the show. Book Buzz, HarperCollins Book Buzz. Check it out. Book Buzz, HarperCollins Book Buzz. Brought to you by Library Love Fest. Hi, everyone. It's Lainey from the Library Love Fest team, but it's not just me. You have a special um, treat because we are here with Virginia Stanley and Grace Catanolo. I know you're so excited. We <laughs> it's usually just me, so you don't have to listen to just me this time. But we have exciting news, and we all wanted to hop on because we all wanted to celebrate. And yeah, it's it's exciting. So we're here for our library reads episode every month. Knock on wood. If we have someone, we we come on here. We tell everyone the good news. They send a recording. It's super fun, and it's a little bit of two way communication because if you are selected for the library reads list, which is a list of the top 10 titles voted on by librarians the month before publication. It's a big deal. And so um, when that happens, we we like to let the author give a little acceptance speech. So with that being said, we have really good news. For the month of March, we have one book that all of us were just stoked to hear the news. And I'll let Virginia tell you the good news. What book made it? Christina Enriquez's book, The Great Divide. <laughs> this is a book that everybody's been talking about at Harper. I mean, this, this book really, from launch to planning to sales conference to conversations with the editor, I mean, my God, this thing is so fully researched and just, uh, you know, just a beautifully told story about a time that, and, and a, I don't know, just this story needed to be told. And she is the person to have done it and done it well. And the, well, like you talk about the response, because that was so cool when she found out. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, we always like to get author reactions. And I think my goal, we used to call them, which is super fun, but it took a lot of planning. And now we just kind of get responses from them on a voice memo. But or a video, um, but I always really love when it's of the moment. And I think that kind of happens sometimes. But this one was such a delight because she was at the airport and she stopped everything to talk. So we have a really great, really great audio, much like we all stopped to talk to you and tell you the good news. She stopped everything she was doing. So let's hear from Christina. I was just about to do an interview and I was on my way out of the restroom. Where I had gone to fix my hair and my agent came up to me and held her phone up in my face and said, have you seen this yet? And I was like trying to process what I was reading and I couldn't quite. So when I finally got a minute and sat down to read an email that said that my book, The Great Divide, was a top 10 library reads pick for March, I was just like astonished, amazed, so happy. I love libraries. I love librarians. So much of this book, which required a ton of research, depended on my amazing local librarians who I was constantly pestering to get me access to certain articles or to get me books from other libraries. And they would so patiently and so willingly get me everything and anything that I needed. They were always rooting for me. I spent many hours in the private study rooms at my local library, just, you know, getting away from everybody so that I could have some peace and quiet to work on this book. And I'm just so thrilled that this book is going to be in more libraries because of this list um, and is recognized this way and, you know, is loved by librarians in the same way that I really love them. So thank you all so much for this. I love that. It was so genuine and so sweet. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, when we first heard the recording, you can hear all the background noise. 
but the background noise just makes it and she wanted to redo it she was like do you want me to do it again and we were like no yeah. leave it the way it is because it's so it's so immediate it's just yeah. such a really authentic yeah. heartfelt unscripted response it's great i think it captures what we we kind of used to do with that phone call and get, <laughs> maybe kind of catching them up unawares but i think that that first reaction is always the most genuine yeah 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 happy for her she is lovely yeah. couldn't, couldn't happen to a nicer person congratulations christina we're so excited and we can't um, wait for more people to read if you want to know more about library reads see or see the full list because there are nine other titles you can go to libraryreads.org and if you have any questions about how to vote if you work in a library then let us know. We're happy to point you in the right direction. You vote on Edelweiss or Night Galley. And we can whitelist you too. The offerings don't stop. Just go to librarylovefest.com. <laughs> Yay. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Library Love Fest podcast. For more information, go to librarylovefest.com. Enjoying the show? We would love to hear what you think. Find us on Facebook and Twitter at Library Love Fest, on Instagram and TikTok at Harper Library. And you can always give us a call and leave us a message. You might end up on the show. That number is 212-207-7773. Be sure to rate and review us and share the show with a friend. Until next time.